Polymer Chemistry Polymer chemistry is the study of macromolecules made up of repeating subunits called monomers. These macromolecules are known as polymers and can be found in a variety of materials, including plastics, fibers, coatings, and adhesives. Polymer chemists study the structure, properties, and behavior of these materials at the molecular level. Polymers are formed through a process known as polymerization, which involves the chemical reaction between monomers. There are two main types of polymerization, addition and condensation. In addition polymerization, monomers are added to a growing polymer chain one at a time. In condensation polymerization, two different monomers react together, with the elimination of a small molecule like water or alcohol. Polymer chemistry has a wide range of applications in various industries, including medicine, electronics, and construction. For example, polymers are used to make drug delivery systems, biocompatible implants, electronic displays, and high-strength building materials. Polymer chemists also play an important role in developing sustainable materials, as they are exploring new ways to create biodegradable and recyclable polymers to reduce the environmental impact of plastic waste. Show me an example of there are two main types of polymerization, addition and condensation. Sure. Here's an example of both addition and condensation polymerization. Addition polymerization. One common example of addition polymerization is the formation of polyethylene, a widely used plastic. Polyethylene is made by the addition of ethylene monomers, which have the chemical formula CH2 equals C.H2. When these monomers are exposed to a catalyst, such as a Ziegler Nata catalyst, they undergo addition polymerization and link together to form long chains of polyethylene. Condensation polymerization. A common example of condensation polymerization is the formation of nylon, a synthetic fiber. Nylon is made by the condensation reaction between two different monomers, diamine and dicarboxylic acid. In this reaction, water is eliminated as a byproduct. The resulting polymer is a long chain of repeating units, alternating between the diamine and dicarboxylic acid monomers. This process is repeated to form a long chain of nylon polymer. Explain more about Ziegler Nata catalyst. Ziegler Nata catalysts are a type of organometallic compound used in polymerization reactions, particularly in the production of polyolefins such as polyethylene and polypropylene. They were discovered by German chemist Carl Ziegler and Italian chemist Giulio Nata in the 1950s and were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1963. Ziegler Nata catalysts are usually made from a transition metal, such as titanium, vanadium, or chromium, and an alkyl or halide compound. They work by coordinating with the monomers in the polymerization reaction and helping to activate them, so that they can react more readily and form polymer chains. The unique advantage of using Ziegler Nata catalysts is their ability to control the size, shape, and distribution of the polymer chains formed during the reaction. This allows for the production of high-quality polymers with specific properties, such as higher molecular weight and greater strength. Ziegler Nata catalysts can also be used in combination with other catalysts, such as metallocene catalysts, to further tailor the properties of the resulting polymer. These catalysts have played a crucial role in the development of modern polymer materials, particularly in the field of plastics, where polyolefins are widely used in a variety of applications. What else do you need to know about polymer chemistry? Here are a few more things you might want to know about polymer chemistry. Polymer structure. Polymers can have different types of structures, such as linear, branched, or cross-linked. The structure of a polymer affects its physical and chemical properties, such as melting point, solubility, and elasticity. Polymer characterization. Polymer chemists use various analytical techniques to study the properties and behavior of polymers, including spectroscopy, thermal analysis, and microscopy. 
These techniques can help determine the molecular weight, composition, and morphology of polymers. Polymer processing Polymers can be processed into various forms, such as films, fibers, and molded parts. Polymer processing techniques include extrusion, injection molding, and blow molding. Polymer applications Polymers are used in a wide range of applications, from packaging materials and textiles to electronics and medical devices. Some polymers are designed for specific applications, such as high-performance polymers used in aerospace or automotive industries. Sustainable polymers Polymer chemists are working to develop sustainable polymers that can be biodegradable or easily recyclable. These efforts aim to reduce the environmental impact of plastic waste and promote more sustainable materials for various applications. Overall, polymer chemistry is a diverse and multidisciplinary field that plays a crucial role in the development of new materials with unique properties and applications. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like.